Hi guys, how's it going? Um, I wanted to show you something that I made a while ago, uh, as you can see by the date here, but um, it was an orphanage in Newcrest, and I made this a while ago actually, before um, I even started my channel up, because I knew that um, I wanted to eventually make an LP about this. I'm really about happy about how many downloads it's got, I don't think I've had something with this many downloads before. But uh, anyway, I'll show you around the house. Uh, here it is, and we can see some of the orphans here at the front. But I'll let you. I'll. I'll not tell you about those yet. Um, before I start, though, uh, over here, this this set of houses, um, they're Victorian townhouses, and I actually did a speed build on those. So comment below if you want to see that. Um, it's already recorded, so it's probably gonna uh, put up. But anyway. <laughs> See, uh, say if you want it up um, but here this is just a library from the gallery I thought it fit in with the rest of the um, buildings on this area and then I also built a, lot, a nightclub there um, so I guess this is kind of like uh, kind of like a high street uh, with a couple of houses on um, there's still a lot at the end I think which I haven't there we go. Uh, I still haven't built on this lot over here. So um, I might put like a shopping district there or something uh, part way in uh, to the game or something. But anyway, yeah, this is the front of the house. And let me turn around. So we've got the side here and this is the back garden. And it actually goes on to this little social area here, this little community, sort of a park. But uh, this is an old lady uh, cooking up some fruit. But I thought that if they wanted barbecues or if they wanted to meet friends or whatever, that actually this is quite a cool uh, lot to put it on because they have this out the back. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the inside of the house. When I was making this, especially with the bedrooms, I actually started to imagine the kind of people that were in there. Because originally I actually built this uh, just for fun. I wanted to uh, practice doing roofs on different kinds of houses. And I wanted to make a big house and uh, eventually put sims in it. But I thought partway through it would be a good idea to make it into an orphanage. So... Um, yeah, that's that's what it ended up happening. But when I went through the bedrooms, which are upstairs, I'll show you them quickly. I'll go through them properly in a bit. As you can see, they're quite chaotic. But um, as I was building them, I was thinking about all these different characters I could put in there. So I just had to make them. And I've kind of been itching to start this LP because I really want to play with these sims. I really want to... Um, like tell all the stories that I want to tell with them and all that kind of thing anyway we've got outside the front here we've got like a little uh, cards area and let's go through the front door I'll show you through where you would go through the front door so you come through here and there's a little desk here and the social worker that works here who's Sky. this is Skye um, this is where she would sit and she's got like a little picture of uh, some of the people that she's looked after and like files on all the um, orphans that stay here and that kind of thing. And this is where she greets um, people who have come to adopt, but also uh, new orphans that come to stay. And then around here, um, I base this a qu quite a lot because um, I haven't actually been to an orphanage, but I've known orphans and I've also um, spent a lot of time working with uh, kids for charity and when we've gone to places where a lot of kids will stay they've got um, a male and a female bathroom so I've done that with several toilets and then also over here if I show you we've got uh, male and female toilets here um, or showers I mean but anyway let's go on to the main living space okay so where the magic happens the kitchen some yummy food always prepared i've also uh you'll see later on but i've given her quite a few skills because i thought that i like cheated it in i thought if someone was going to be in this job they'd be already trained to do the stuff that they need to to take care of the kids also if I was supposed to be looking after uh, seven kids or 
six kids, I would um, I would like to know how to cook for them <laughs> without burning the house down. I think that's quite a priority. But anyway, over here we've got um, some bulletin boards where uh, like counselling sessions or events coming up, calendars, stuff with school, posts about eating well, all that kind of stuff is all around here for the kids so that they get somewhere to see straight away. Um, also, while Sky is cooking over here, we've got some chairs so that the kids can sit and watch and talk to her if they want to. I've also put this door here, if I just do here this door here that I thought it could get locked and that's when the kids have to wait outside to uh, but this is where uh, they could they can all sit and have their food so they've got to wait outside the door till Sky puts the food down and then they all come rushing in and eat all the food that's the plan also with the furniture um, it's all a bit mismatched it's all really homely uh, I thought that quite a lot of the furniture could be donated and um, that's why it's a bit hodgepodge but I thought that it's like a really quite a friendly environment for the kids to stay in but over here in this corner we've got um like some bookshelves and some seating area and like books piled on the floor I thought that maybe some of the teenager kids um might be able to read to the younger kids here and I thought that'd be a really nice little social space we've also got um the seating area here the lounge with the tv I think Daisy was watching some um, kids channel before uh, I got her to go outside and we've got a radio here oops almost started playing and then also we've got a little cuddly bear here I thought that that might be quite nice if they want to cuddle it to make them feel better if they're feeling sad but also if they're feeling angry they can take it out on the bear because that always happens in the sims but anyway we've got some skill items outside we've got some chess tables and a uh what are these called uh punch bag yeah <laughs> i'm not sure why i forgot that um we've got a paint easel and a woodworking bench i've also got the new uh pumpkin carving bench here so that i can play around with that um and in this corner here i've got uh, some gardening boxes. I thought it would be really nice if Sky learnt how to garden and started putting her own fruit and vegetables there that she can use in her cooking. But also, it's a good way to make money. I'll let you know how money's going to work when I actually start this and I introduce the Let's Play. But uh, anyway, here's the pool. I know that this probably wouldn't really be in their budget. But it's a really small pool, but also uh, I thought they could get away with it by convincing, um, I guess, the council that it was um, something fun to do and will encourage kids to be healthy. So that's why, that's what I did to, um, to, oh, what's the word? My excuse for using it. Anyway, let's go upstairs to the bedrooms. Um, the house on the on the uh, gallery is slightly different I put in a couple of items one of them being this bed because I've got um, some new packs and I thought since I made this house so I thought it would be nice to put in some of my new items that I thought would go better I actually was thinking of this bed when I made this room so that when I bought the pack I could put it in but here we go I made because uh, Sky wants to be uh, Sky's aspiration is um, painter extraordinaire. Um, this is where she goes to escape from the kids. The room is locked, so only she can go in here and she can come in here, escape from the kids, do some of her painting and relax. She's got a computer here to uh, sort out the files, but also means that the kids can't go on there for privacy, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, this is her little space uh, with all the flowers and stuff. I thought it was really nice. Also suits her personality. Anyway, here we go. On this side of the house are the girls' rooms, and on the other side of the house are the boys' rooms. But this room over here by the bathroom, this one, I mean, on the family that I have right now, uh, this is a boys' room. But it's um, generally in the future things, if we change around the orphans which are in here, this is a girls' or a boys' room, depending on the people in the house. But anyway, so this is the girls' room. They're they're quite stereotypically girly and um, 
boy <laughs> um, <laughs> but they're quite stereotypical with being pink and blue because um, when they're going when they're decorating they don't really have the money to properly um, furnish it for the individual needs of the people in the house so the girls just get put in the stereotypical girl room and then the boys get put in the stereotypical boys room but I actually really like this room I think it's really cute we've got lots of little ornaments all around and toys on the floor I think one of them started playing with it and put it away actually uh, already uh, but we've got an art um, an art station a craft station sorry uh, a violin and yeah, this is where the two two of the girls will stay, um, two of the little kids. And then across here, we've got the teenager girl room. Her name's Cameron, but uh, this is where she's staying, and she's quite into our wellness skills. So that's why we've got the meditation thing here. And uh, yeah, so this is her room I quite like it it's like longer and thinner it does have enough space that if we do have another teenager like one of these girls ages up that they can move in here um, but I think these two girls will age up at the same time so we might just make this into a um, teenager room and keep all these items in storage but yeah so that's the girls room okay around here this is the boys room uh, the kids the kid boys. Uh, so on this side, I'll just put up the balls. Hang on. I put up the balls. Oh. Okay. On this side of the room, this is uh, Kim's room. He it really wants to be an astronaut. So as you can see with these kind of things, he's in sport. And I'll be honest, when I was making this room, I actually. Um, thought to myself I'm not sure what kind of character I'm gonna put in this room but I'll figure like on this side but I'll figure out when I'm making them and because I hadn't thought of something specific as to what character I wanted there I forgot to make him <laughs> when I was making the sims but I thought actually that was a blessing in disguise because uh, maybe when I start the let's play um, he can be the new uh, orphan and it might be quite cool if um, we get some creations from you guys. Um, and maybe that can be in there if that's what you want to do. If I get enough people, you know, wanting to watch this and stuff. But anyway, here we've got the uh, boy's bedroom. Uh, the teenage boy. He, this is the new rug from uh, the spooky pack that I just put in. But yeah. I really like this room, actually. It's quite dark. But... Um, I think it's really nice and there's a guitar because he loves playing guitar but yeah and this bathroom upstairs this shower is locked just for uh, sky but the bathroom the reason why I put another one up here was because I thought if one of them has gone to bed kneeling in the toilet and wakes up in the middle of the night is going to pee themselves by the time they get all the way downstairs I thought I might as well put a toilet up here so that I don't get as many accidents <laughs> but anyway that's the whole house and I hope you like it. It's obviously available on the gallery to download. Um, but also I think it would work quite well as a normal house. Um, if you didn't want this many bedrooms, uh, I guess you could sort of change the inside. Uh, maybe change this into one bathroom. Or maybe make this space into a gym. Or whatever you want to really. But feel free to adapt this to your needs. Even if you, um, if you don't want uh, it as an orphanage but if you want me guys if you want me to um, uh, change this into a normal house guys from the inside then let me know I'll maybe attempt it anyway hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you at the beginning of the let's play with these orphans okay <laughs> see you later bye